Melasma is a common pigmentation disorder that causes brown or gray patches to appear on the skin, primarily on the face. As a result, people with darker skin tones are more likely to develop melasma as they have more melanocytes than the people with lighter skin. So in this video, I'm going to go over what melasma is, what causes it, how to treat melasma, especially if you have darker skin, and one very important tip you don't want to miss out on when it comes to preventing it. So stay tuned till the end. Hi guys, you've seen Arsenal Media Pharmacist here on YouTube where I help you guys make better and more informed decisions about your health and wellness. So if that's something you're into, be sure to smash that like button below now. It tells YouTube this video is important and it also helps others find this video as well. Also while you're at it, hit that subscribe button too as well as the notification bell right next to it to stay up to date with new weekly health and wellness videos. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. First off, the symptoms of melasma are going to look different depending on a person's skin tone. But in general, melasma causes patches of dark skin on high points of the face and melasma on dark skin appears as dark brown or gray brown patches. These patches often appear in a symmetric pattern on both sides of the face, mainly appearing on the cheeks, nose, forehead, upper lip and chin. But why does it happen, you might ask? Well, that occurs when melanocytes, which produce the pigment you see on your skin, when they produce too much pigmentation in the skin. This results in dark patches. People with black or brown skin have more melanocytes. This means that they are more likely to develop melasma than people with lighter complexions. It'll usually begin in adults in their 20s and 30s. However, some forms of melasma do not appear until a person actually reaches their 40s. And it occurs more often on female skin than on males. This is because pregnancy, which triggers an increase in hormones, is said to be a common cause of melasma. And while melasma isn't painful and doesn't present any health risks, it can cause significant emotional distress for the estimated 6 million American women who develop these dark patches on their faces. Which is why I wanted to make this video, to hopefully point you in the right direction and get you to reach your skincare goals. We mentioned that pregnancy can be a possible trigger in melasma, and on that same token, melasma may also occur when you either start or stop hormonal contraception including birth control pills or when you take hormone replacement therapy so if you fit into that category that's something to keep note of now let's get into three over-the-counter treatment options you could try out today to help boost in your skin's complexion all the links to the products will be mentioned in the description below so don't forget to check those out something important to keep in mind is your dermatologist may have already prescribed medications or topical treatments to help light in the melasma. These include topical retinols and retinoid treatments, which are applied to the skin to help speed up your body's natural cell turnover process. So as far as over-the-counter products, the first is going to be the popular one, hydroquinone. If you're currently on a regimen of hydroquinone, which works by blocking melanin production, keep following your dermatologist's instructions until the melasma clears up. While hydroquinone is available over-the-counter to use, your best bet is to see if it's right for your skin type, and if so, it should only be applied on the dark spots themselves. Higher concentrations of hydroquinone can cause white spots to develop on the skin, which is why it's important to have a consultation to see if your skin would even be a good fit. The most common melasma therapies include the 2% hydroquinone creams and clinical studies do show us that creams containing 2% hydroquinone can be effective in lightening the skin and are less irritating than higher concentrations used for melasma. The second product is kojic acid. Kojic acid inhibits an enzyme necessary in the production of melanin, helping to fade dark spots and discoloration. It also delivers some antioxidant protection and you'll likely start to see results within two weeks. Keep in mind that if your skin is sensitive, it's best not to use it daily at first. Instead, Work it into it with your regimen just once or twice per week to ensure that your skin can even tolerate the ingredient that then move on to daily use. Overall, kojic acid is relatively gentle on the skin, which is why it's such a good alternative if your skin doesn't respond well to hydroquinone. The third product is azelaic acid. Azelaic acid works to improve melasma in two ways. First, it encourages cell turnover to exfoliate the skin and promote new healthy skin growth. Second, Azelaic acid also has antioxidant properties that help remove free radicals that can contribute to dull skin for a naturally brighter complexion. Something to keep note of is that much of the research on topical azelaic acid is for the prescription strength formulas with 15 to 20 percent concentrations. While lower grade options that are available over the counter can work, 
You often find azelaic acid products combined with other ingredients as it could possibly be more effective combined with kojic acid, vitamin C, and other exfoliants. But I get it, you might be asking how long will that take? In terms of how long it will take, you're, you're looking at a minimum of two month commitment with prescription strength azelaic acid before seeing improvement in hyperpigmentation. If you're using an over-the-counter product, you'll see results after three to four months. So yes, it may seem like forever, but it's a good way to get the complexion you are seeking. I personally recommend to use it as a final step in your skincare routine to prevent it from smearing. So there you go. There's three melasma fighting products you could try out at home. And if you want me to go into detail about any of these three products, leave me a comment below and I'd be happy Happy to discuss them on this channel. But if there's one tip that I would want you guys to leave with that could prevent your melasma from getting worse or even coming back, which I think is a fundamental step in all of skincare, and that is sun protection. One of the most common treatments for melasma is sun protection. Since sunlight triggers melasma, it is important to wear sunscreen every day, even on cloudy days and after swimming or sweating. Choose a sunscreen that offers broad spectrum protection, an SPF of 30 or more, and zinc oxide and or titanium dioxide to physically limit the effects of the sun's rays on your skin. Apply the sunscreen 15 minutes before going outside and reapply it at least every two hours. This will help prevent melasma from getting worse. Not to forget to mention all the other numerous other skin benefits sunscreen has. And two last bonus tips I would leave you with since you made it all the way to the end is to establish a good cleansing regimen. Environmental pollution can contribute to melasma. Airborne pollutants can bind to the skin and corrode the protective surface, making it weaker and more susceptible to sun damage. Clean your skin every night before bed with a cleanser that can thoroughly remove dirt and debris. I left one that I personally use in the description below and it works wonders for my skin. And lastly, Moisturize your skin regularly. Use a good moisturizer to restore the lipid barrier of the skin, which helps to protect it from damage. Overall, it's frustrating because melasma can be stubborn and it may take a few months of treatment to see improvement, but I can't stress the importance of being patient. It is important to follow your dermatologist's advice in the meantime as well, since this ensures that you get the most benefit from your treatment. And that's it guys. I hope that this video helps give you a better understanding on treating melasma. I also hope Hope that this video was insightful to you guys the only thing i ask in return is just a simple like down below for the youtube algorithm thanks for sticking to it all the way till the end and as always i'll see you guys on the next one